Hello everyone, my name is Alan, and I never thought I would be making a video like this, but as an American Ninja Warrior fan, among other things, I want to provide my thoughts on this, um, and just lay out some facts in the process. <clears throat> in the description, there will be links to articles about this subject, as well as a Reddit post um, from the American Ninja Warrior subreddit where I discovered this news um, from an article that was linked in said post. I won't go too in-depth necessarily because this is going to be hard to talk about um, and the articles in the Reddit comments uh, will speak for themselves. So with that being said, yesterday, Tuesday, August 4th, 2020, I went on a Reddit and decided to go to the American Ninja Warrior subreddit and found a post with an article from the Philadelphia Inquirer that shocked me. One of American Ninja Warrior's best, Drew Dreschel, was accused of heinous acts involving an underage girl. And by underage, I mean she was 15 years old. 15. The article says that Dreschel has been arrested and, ha and been found to be a danger and a flight risk, meaning that he stays in police custody. To say that I am disgusted and upset is an understatement. The article goes on to say to state that Dreschel and the girl met in 2014 after an A&W event and exchanged numbers, and then in 2015 when Drew opened his gym in Connecticut, the victim, who, was a New Jer who lived in New Jersey at the time, was offered to visit to the new gym as a 15th birthday gift, so basically to host her birthday party there. I'm going to leave it at that. And like I said, the article will be linked in the description. But from there on, what I read was, well, disturbing, to say the least. What this young girl has gone through, it's sickening. I know someone who went through something like this, though not as extensive from a time standpoint. Like, it happened, but it didn't happen over a prolonged period of time. Um, and the guy that did it to her was caught relatively quickly when I found out about what happened to her it hurt me I was sickened pissed and upset all at once I haven't felt that way again until now with the actions of Dreschel for those who don't know Drew Dreschel is well I can now say it was an American Ninja Warrior legend and a legend in general when it comes to obstacle course racing when he started a and W competition he was one of the fastest competitors out there, not to mention an absolute superstar. He would suffer a setback when he blew out his knee on stage one of Mount Midoriyama in season three, but rehabbed and came back in season four as himself. Aside from the one season where he went out on the second obstacle in the regional finals, Drew has made the national finals almost every year. As mentioned before, er, Drew had in the last two years, season 10, he was the last man standing meaning that he went the farthest without completing the entire thing. And then last year, he went all the way, completed stage four, and for only the third time in American Ninja Warrior history, claimed total victory. The first two times happening with Isaac Caldero and Jeff Britton in the same season. Um, Caldero was declared the overall winner of that. But aside from that, Um, <clears throat> sorry. What we saw with Drew was a complete facade. And before I get on, continue with that, I just also want to mention that last year was the introduction of the safety and uh, speed passes, as well as the power tower at the end. And Drew actually won the safety pass at the regional finals um, that he competed in, and had to use it on stage one at Mount Midoriyama when he fell. Um, he reran the course, beat it. And then went on to beat stage two, stage three, and stage four. He, you know, he had it all. And we'll, we'll dive into that a little more a little later. The Reddit post I mentioned before has over 100, I think now over 200 comments on it. And many, say, many commented that they either had a weird feeling about Dreschel, that they didn't like his attitude, that they've met him in person, or they've followed him on you know, like Instagram or something. 
and some even saying that they've heard from people who work on the show that are around these competitors that Dreschel is a jerk, among other things. Not to mention, he has a girlfriend and, his, and a son. And his closest friend, David Flip Rodriguez, came out a few years ago revealing that when he was a kid growing up, he went through abuse. Which I would never wish that upon anybody. Because that's just sickening. That's the fact that that even happens is ridiculous. I can only imagine what Flip is going through right now. Seeing this news and potentially being re-traumatized by it. Um, some have commented on the Reddit post that he has responded about this on Instagram. Somebody asked him and he provided and he provided an answer. And at first and some said that he was in a way defending it but he's not uh, others clarified with their view of what he said and also looked at it through the lens of what he's been through um, and again the reddit post along with these articles and a and an Instagram post from Dave Cavanaugh another competitor uh, with his statement on the subject um, those will all be linked down in the description below so you can see all of that um, I would talk more about it, but I only have so long to make this video. Um, but yeah, all around, this is a terrible, terrible, terrible situation. As of today, give or take 24 hours after this news broke, and it's gone beyond the articles. Uh, it's gone to as far as TMZ and such. Um, but as of today, NBC Universal. And A. Smith & Co., uh, producers of the show, released a statement on his arrest. And The Hollywood Reporter released an article um, that in part stated that American Ninja Warrior is cutting all ties with Drew. Those, as mentioned before, will be linked in the description, as well as the Kavanaugh Instagram post. Now, season 12 uh, filming has supposedly been completed. Um... And, it seem, and in the Reddit post comments, it seems to be confirmed that Dreschel did compete. Which, having him compete before this all came out, and I'm not saying that NBC knew ahead of time. I don't think they did. I, don't, I think like the rest of us, nobody knew aside from Drew, the family, and law enforcement. That's about it. I'm interested to see what the producers do in regard to Drew with his runs. Because this also depends on how far he went. Like, did he go out early or did he go all the way again? It's going to be interesting to see how they manage that. They're probably going to have to cut his runs out. Obviously, you know, I also saw another post that uh, Peacock has removed both seasons 10 and 11 of American Ninja Warrior off of its platform. Uh, it's a streaming service. So, right, so now, as you can see, NBC knows, and they are taking the steps that they need to take in this regard. Um, but yeah, most likely Drew's runs will be cut. I'm just interested to see how they're going to manage that. Are they going to have to put disclaimers? Are they just going to not do anything with season 12 are they just gonna scrap it uh what are they gonna do that's what i want to know for this last part i'm gonna say this to drew directly and i don't know if he's ever gonna see this i hope he does but there's a slim chance of that um but drew i don't as i said i don't know if you will ever see this but if you do I'm going to say this. You had it all. You were one of, if not the best. The face of American Ninja Warrior. A champion. And you threw it all away beginning just a few short years ago, by all accounts, when you began this commitment of these heinous acts. And that's just putting it lightly. Okay? 
You were an inspira- you were an inspiration to so many young kids. Albeit you kind of were an inspiration to me too. I'm 18 years old. I'll be 19 in October. My dream is to compete on American Ninja Warrior someday, and I really hope I do. It just hurts me as it does for so many in the ninja community, competitors and fans alike, as well as the family of the victim, and we don't even know if she's the only victim. There could be more victims because of you. But this hurts so much because again, you were the face of this show and you squandered everything you had. You had a girlfriend, you had a son, you had a ninja gym, you were a champion. Your son is going to grow up without a father, most likely, depending on how long you're in jail for because of what you did. Your entire career thrown away. You're one of your best friends and closest competitors, rivals for even for a while. Flip Rodriguez is probably hurting and is re-traumatized, most likely, by this news because of what he went through. Others that have been through this are going to read this news and they're going to potentially also be re-traumatized because of what you did. You didn't have to do this. None of this should have happened. And you let it happen. You did this. And before somebody comments, oh, well, you know, innocent until proven guilty, bro, the facts are out there. The evidence is out there. There are articles and police reports and things like that out there. Again, go to the Reddit post. You will see somebody linked to um, a post in the comments um, and so on and so forth uh, from the FBI or what have you. And the things that are listed unreal you chose to do this you chose to make to take it this far and look what you've done you've thrown away your career your son most likely will not have a father for a good several years of his life you're gonna be regarded as you know, you're going to be for, almost forgotten. Everything you've done is going to be all for naught. Because you fucked up. Literally. I hope you, re- you find it within yourself to regret all this. Take it like a man. Admit, you know, admit wrongdoing. Because again, the evidence is out there. You chose to let this happen, and now you're about to suffer the consequences of it. I hope you learn, Drew. I hope you learn from this. And I don't want to be one of those people that says, I hope you rot in jail. I'm not like that. I would rather hope that you find forgiveness and find it within yourself that when this is all over, at least from a jail standpoint and such that you will rebuild yourself educate yourself and never ever do this again you need to learn dude you really do and again I feel really bad for the girl that had to go through this because of you but anyway thank you all for watching And I will see you all next time. Peace.